next three weeks, we're going to be talking about financial fitness and the three primary areas that comprise your financial health, what you earn, what you spend, and what you save. It's important to take a close look and consider each of these financial buckets at least once a year to ensure that you're on your best financial footing for life. Those of you who do work with us, you know that we ask a lot of questions that may seem completely random at first, but they all revolve around those three factors, what you earned, spend, and save. Now, for anybody that hasn't been to the office, we wanted to give you an idea of how those three items are important. Well, you see, we're all compensated in three different ways, and we all earn money in different ways. So regardless, I do notice that some people stop evaluating what they're earning as soon as they get that proverbial paycheck in hand, while others think, hey, I got that paycheck, but I could also get a side gig and earn some extra cash. Now, when we talk to folks who have, had, who have a side hustle out there, and we ask them how they use that money. We often hear that they live off that primary paycheck and then use the extra cash that they're getting for something, maybe a combination of fun, caring for family members, or helping others. One client even told us that she uses her side money to buy shoes and boots to equip the homeless so that they can get jobs. Pretty cool, huh? When we evaluate what people are earning, we learn that people are wired differently. Some people budget methodically, they can't help it off of that predictable twice a month W-2 paycheck, while others literally eat what they kill. I need money. Oh, there's something. For this group, they can ask themselves how hard they want to work this year, and then they estimate how many hours that work will take, and then work as efficiently as possible to make those numbers real. It's different for everyone, and that's okay, as long as your goals and your income are in alignment. So I challenge you as you're taking a look at your financial fitness to ask yourself, how do I earn money currently? Is that amount reasonable compensation for the services that I provide? And if yes, great. If not, then I challenge you to ask yourself what you can do to change things. Can you ask for a raise? Can you look for a new job? Can you start a side gig to create more income so your earnings column is where you need it to be? And trust me, I literally talk to people all the time in our conference rooms, who when they asked about what they earn and their financial goals, well, they're simply not earning enough. They don't connect. And to be clear, there's nothing wrong with a profession or a lifestyle where you don't earn a lot, but that has to fit your goals because financial stress happens when people aren't earning enough to match their lifestyle and their long-term goals. And when those things don't measure up, look out. So what are the answers? If this describes you and you're feeling that stress, what do you need to consider? And I'll tell you my story. In college, I needed money. And the $2.75 per hour minimum wage from the school cafeteria cleaning dishes, it just wasn't going to cut it. So I thought, hmm. And I got a job as the night store clerk, right, think clerks, at a shell station in Wilmore, Kentucky, where I worked after classes. And if you want some crazy stories, just ask me about that job sometime. More than willing to share. I was also still cleaning the grease traps in the cafeteria kitchen, nasty job, and bussing and cleaning tables. And of course, working at the convenience store came with the perk of free black coffee and unsold food. <laughs> Loved it when people didn't get all the chicken tenders. 11 o'clock, they tasted really good. But it still wasn't enough. I got a job listening to a guy read the Old Testament. Seriously, all those begats paid $12 an hour. I mean, that was NFL level money to me at the time, all because of the Bible. After a few months of that, I needed something else. My brain started turning and I decided to order a pizza while I thought it over. Well, the delivery guy who came was a classmate of mine and he told me he was bringing in 14 or $15 an hour. So I was like, sign me up. Again, ask me about this job if you ever want to hear some stories. Basically, I delivered pizza for the next two to three years, put myself through school. My goals and income at the time were finally lined up. Now, I'm not telling you to go out and deliver pizzas, but in my mind, it's no different than driving Uber to bring in a little extra money. I'm hoping to challenge you to use that brain that sits between your ears to ask yourself if you're earning enough. And if not, what can you do to get there? 
Could you continue your education? Could you retool your job skills? Could you talk to your boss about enacting a plan for a raise or a promotion? Well, of course it's up to you, but I hope I've planted the seed and that you'll spend the next 15 minutes, that's it, 15 minutes, thinking about what your goals are and whether your goals and your earnings are aligned. And next time you're in the office, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Come on in, visit our new social lounge, Give us a call today.